guys. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of the web app that I put together for the purpose of kind of pushing boundaries and um, figuring out what what the minimum data is that we need that I that I want to collect uh, uh, to to make time tracking app usable um, so th so it's been streamlined um, some things are going to drop out um, but but basically as the as the the purpose of the the application is to track points in time um, within what I'm going to call a circle. So a circle of influence, a circle of contacts, a, um, a, a circle might be a project, but within that circle there are points. Um, in this case I was calling it tasks when I first put this together. Um, and the first point in a particular day, we'll say, or, or within that particular circle is going to be a start point. To start point that's going to be documented. Um, again, this is it's, I'm using a Google Form, so it's going to uh, give me as I submit that response. It's going to be populating uh, this this spreadsheet with just raw data. So what I have just documented is is a point in time, which is a start point uh, that has a timestamp. And that's it. Um, and that uh, there's a script running in the background. It takes a little bit of time to catch up, but it's going to uh, put that start point in time documented. It doesn't have a duration. The script knows that a start point doesn't need to calculate a duration. But what it's going to do now is is every point in time documented will be will include with it the duration of time since the last point in time. So in this case, it's a start that gives me a kind of a, a benchmark. And as I submit an, a new response, uh, we'll say um, I'm, I'm now traveling. So uh, my day starts and, and I'm uh, traveling to the job, I'm traveling to the the event, the, um, the meeting, I'm, I'm, I'm performing this, I'm doing the, the, the task that I'm doing now, the point in time that uh, when I arrive is what I'm going to call a point of travel. And that's the, the point in time it uh, documents what is completed at this point. So at this point, I'm going to be completing travel. So I started my day. And now I'm selecting travel as my my point in time, uh, and I'm going to submit that. And it's going to, in the raw data, put a point uh, with a timestamp, and that point, that that task, or what I'm trying to use the terms, is is a point within a circle, um, and and this point is going to be called travel, and. Uh, then when the script runs, it's as it's running, it's going to document uh, from the start, it's going to have, have a point here of travel and then a duration of how much time was spent on travel. I'm going to go ahead uh, while that script is it's just continually running. Whenever a new response is, is added, um, we won't wait for it though. So as my day goes, uh, we'll say I'm doing blocking. Um, there's no start to the blocking task at the point. Um, the, the technically the starting point would be when I when I completed travel. So the the time period would be from travel when I arrived until we'll say in this case maybe it's break time or or i'm going to go on to a different task but in any case uh i've been doing blocking all morning and 
and um, and now it's there's, there's going to be a change in task or a change in what I'm doing, and, and so I'm going to document blocking. And so I select blocking as in this case a task or a point in time, and I'm not going to add any notes or mileage. And I submit that, and so my raw data has a a blocking moment in time. Um, point uh, and, and so this is just my raw data and you can see now that the script has included travel uh, with a duration of 1 minute and 54 seconds <laughs> and amazingly um, I also had a, a duration for blocking of exactly the same 1 minute and 54 seconds um, so, so what that means is that I started my day, and I, when I posted travel, uh, it was one minute and 54 seconds later. This isn't realistic, but this is just what, live, what we're doing live right here. And then uh, I did blocking for another one minute and 54 seconds. And now I'm going to submit a new response. Let's say I was uh, on break. And again, this is minimum amount of data. What's the minimum amount of data um, to make this useful? So, so what I'll, I'll end up doing is I'll go back through a day and we'll say on the 5th, uh, I started my day and then I spent 27 minutes and 33 seconds doing travel. And then... Uh, this might be billable time here of 38 minutes and 24 seconds that I spent doing this task Morris cabinet vision and then I went to the uh, Roadman project I multi-select and I was measuring there and so between these two items on the fifth I had two hours and 14 minutes and 15 seconds of billable time. Um, also had four hours and nine minutes and 58 seconds, so about four minutes and four hours and 10 minutes of travel on that day. Um, so I'm using this minimum amount of data generate useful information to know what my days are looking like. And so in this short demonstration, I, I had uh, a one minute, 54 second travel time, one minute, 54 seconds during blocking, then one minute and 16 seconds of break. That, that break is completed. And so now I am continuing my work, continuing my day, documenting it, however it is, but this is the minimum amount of data um, and, it, and, it, and, you, and by the simple demonstration, its usefulness, it, it, it has become useful information to look back over now um, for the purpose of documenting how my time is spent. And so anything beyond this now, how we share it, how we link um, one circle to another circle, uh, this is now adding value uh, to the application.